so I'm gonna walk I'm gonna walk you in just like if you were in the antique mall gonna go into this room and we took the original chrome doors off because it was sectioned off years ago when it was a bowling alley but right now it has this original ugly bluish speckled carpet it's very good quality commercial grade um, this side has a little bit of everything in it uh, mishmash curtain rods you can see up there gray walls if you can see them um, you know and you know the vendors just recently cleaned this room up and it looks better than it did but this room seems to like get junked up easily and so I feel like we it, it would just be a great space for us to actually you know draw in that market so it has this huge bar that is original to the room and let me spin around here sorry guys I'm panning kind of maybe too fast for some of you I'm gonna look back at the doorway we just moved in this um, beautiful antique display case that we got out of an old uh, local grocery store here um, so it's like the guy was getting rid of it and I think I think he gave 200 for it but it is in immaculate condition it's beautiful and we didn't have room for it but we just thought we can't pass it up I think so I think we're gonna keep that in here this black display stand we were letting somebody borrow but I think we're gonna keep that in here um, but I feel like everything else, oh, let me go around here. Everything's going to go. Those curtain rods, I think we're going to take those out and replace them with um, metal, industrial-looking ones. Um, I'm debating about this old organ. I really think that that organ could be painted a bold color and would be an amazing piece in here. And then um, I'm also debating about, we have an altar, which you can't see because it's buried, but we do have an altar back there that's from the 1920s from um, a seminary school in St. Louis. So it's a beautiful piece. If I had room, I would turn that into my island and my kitchen because it's just fantastic. And the back is all open that you could do anything with it. Then that piece up there... I don't know if you can see it looks like a cross kind of but that's also from the 1920s all hand carved wood it's gorgeous close up I'll get to it later we kind of made that our religious area but anyway I'm gonna I think I'm gonna take that top piece and I think I'm going to try to repurpose it above this doorway I think it would look fantastic and I got some pillars from that hall uh, from the 1920s to put on both sides and I think it will be amazing and just make a grand statement and then the other door that goes out into the store I'm actually wanting I'm not sure what's going to transpire yet but I'm wanting to put like a half of a barn door and then put chicken wire so that way air can still circulate people can still hear and see what's going on in the rest of the mall but it'll kind of like make this its own defined space so that's my plan so we'll see so I'm gonna try to go slower guys I'm sorry I don't know about this podium yet what I want to do with it it's super cool um, again we put it by the church stuff but I feel like that needs something done with it and we got this um, beautiful kneeler that I think is from the 1940s um, and I want to bring it home and use it in my meditation space, but my husband, um, for those of you that don't know, my husband is an embalmer, but that's his daytime job. Well, it's sometimes his nighttime job too, but that's his full-time job uh, while I'm trying to build this business and hopefully be able to retire in one of these days. But here is behind the altar. So we use it for storage of extra record albums. But isn't this amazing? Like, you could do so much underneath here. I just, yeah, I need a bigger house. This beautiful piece of trim I'm going to try to incorporate. Um, it's also from the 1920s. And look at the detail. Like, this is all hand-carved 
I mean, this is just gorgeous. And I don't know. I think it's oak. So what's going to be interesting is my husband is totally not into painting wood. So we'll see this here. We had it at 300 and marked it down to 190 because we had it in the way. But now I'm going to use it. So now it's not going to be for sale. But look at this. It's just absolutely stunning. I think some of the trim came off of up there, but so my husband and I are going to have the little um, talk about painting this because I know he's not going to want to, but we're going to anyway. We just, we have so many fantastic pieces, so we are going to see how this goes. This is an old oak cabinet. It's about, I don't know, three foot tall, and this actually lifts and opens up, and they used to put in their uh, tapestries that they would hang behind, I guess, the altars in their churches. So let me go around here. I think I'm gonna be keeping these curtains, which these are sheer in the middle, but it goes back to our water heater and our storage space. So I just, it was an open, open hole when we moved here. So I had these amazing curtains and shears and I put them up because we originally were going to use this room and rent it out for parties. Um, we had it set up with all three by three square tables. We had white shears and it looked very elegant um, and kind of had that French country look to it. But we needed the space for vendors. So we expanded and didn't want to deal with the whole rental thing um, for parties because then that led to like food catering and different things. So, and also you'd need extra people to be here at night if they wanted a party or early mornings or on weekends. So just different things. So we decided not to go that route and just fill it up. But now it's been seven years and I think we're going to transform it again. This is, like I said, the original bar. It's just painted black, but we're going to do something totally different here. It has this little foot ledge down here in this cushioned. I hate to take the bar out just because you can see it's a really cool uh, mid-century countertop. So I think I'm gonna keep that. And the reason is, is that you can see this bar literally is the length of the room. And the thing is the bar has been a part of this building since it was built. And if this bar could talk the stories that it would tell would be like so fascinating, I'm sure, and entertaining. Um, we do still have the original water coolers, which I've had several people want to buy them. Um, I don't know. I'm still torn about what to do. They work. They take up a lot of space and we don't use them. So I should get rid of them. But it's just like, man, they go with the bar theme. But now we're not going to do the bar theme. So I don't know. And this is all bar back space, which we currently have vintage light shades and stuff like that. But the wall needs some, you know, minor work on it. We have a lot of blank spaces because this weekend was amazing. We sold so much stuff um, this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of Easter weekend. It was insane. We sold a lot of big furniture. We sold a lot of big pieces. So it was as the big pieces were going out and these big wall pieces were going out, I'm like, you know what? I think it's time that we just make the plunge and um, go for it. So the other thing I want to have a challenge of is do I keep the original mirrors for the bar back or do I get rid of them? And then also we have this original um, AB bar tap that's original to the building and we have had so many people want to buy that too and I just I have a really hard time thinking I'm gonna let go of it I don't know cuz like I said it's part of the place I might be able to make it work with the decor but we shall see um, the floor we put in this peel and stick stuff when we opened as an antique mall because it was really nasty back here you can imagine being behind a bar there's a little piece of carpet I need to get rid of that um, we're just, we're just going to overhaul this whole place. You know, it's time. It's time. We have so many lamps. It's insane. And we just, we don't have enough space to put them. 
We have these vintage chairs. They're so cool. Vintage school chairs. Um, wine bottles we have way too many of. And people always ask, do people actually buy them? They do. Um, chrome bar stools, which those would go with the farmhouse style. Um, we have all four of them for $180, and they're really good quality ones, too. So, and we have this old coffee grinder, and she says it works. I haven't tried it. And we have this bowling stuff. So, and then we have this, where the bar TV used to be, we currently, it's a monitor for our security cameras that we can turn on so people can see what we're seeing. Uh, but I think we're going to revamp that. My husband had some really good ideas for that. So, and then this wall is carpet. Original from the bowling alley. Just because we didn't really have a reason to take it out. But I think it's time for that to go. I'm a little bit nervous because I feel like it's probably glued in there so, so good. It's going to be not a fun project. So, that's kind of... The current status and overwhelming inventory of the bar, what we call the bar room. Um, but it's going to be time for it to see a new life, see new days. Um, I think it's going to be fun. So my problem is I just always want everything. I want to have the idea and have it done tomorrow. And I know things don't work like that, but it sounds great, don't it? So, all right, so I will keep you posted on how this overhaul goes.